because we want to get to this. We're so excited because the 81st Golden Globes is going to air live this Sunday on CBS. And for the very first time, comedian and friend of Good Day, Joe Coy, is going to be hosting. Yes. Joseph, good morning. <laughs> How are you? Good. Hey, before we get started, I want to say that you have you have been a friend of this program for years. years uh, yeah. I first met you back in Bakersfield years ago, and I just want to Woo. say that seeing this this rise, has, it's been great to watch. Mm -hmm. it's, it makes me proud to see the way you have come up through the years, man. Ah, uh, thank you so much. It's been it's been a wonderful ride. It's been depressing at times, sure, but rewarding the mo most of the times and. And now I finally get to to a show that uh, you know I've been a fan of for so long, and and I'm bringing my son. That's my date. Oh, my date awesome. is going to be my son. How well, old is he now? He's 20 now. That Stop is so it! Oh, great. Yeah, okay, and we you were... know the joy the joy on my son's face when yeah. I told him because he was on vacation, yeah. and I I woke him up, and uh, and when I told him that I was hosting the Golden Globes, the expression on his face and the way he reacted was just like my heart melted. Aww. And I uh, and I took a screenshot of it because yeah. it was just such like a a moment that I'll I'll, I'll cherish forever. It Man, makes your, the ups and downs worth it. Your guys' relationship is special. You share a lot of that on social media. Okay, so uh, you, you're you like have a compressed timeline because what was it a couple weeks ago or a week or so ago? A couple that you were weeks ago, eight days eight ago, days. <laughs> eight. So now you have what? A few weeks to prepare. Take me through. No, what is your... I literally have like four oh, days. Yeah, I'm sorry. Yeah, it's been crazy. It's it's <laughs> literally I, the re, I'm not yelling at you. I'm just no, like, no. it's just been crazy. I it, this has been a crash course. Yeah. In the in the in the in the 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 study of hosting and and writing a monologue. So, I've been I I've watched every single movie, every single TV show. I haven't stopped, oh and gosh. literally just writing every single day. I've been wow. writing, 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 and. Writing with my writers and punching up and yeah. just trying to prepare myself for this moment. Okay, I want to ask you because there's so many new things about the show. One in yes. particular is a category. It's a best performance in a stand-up for television. Do you have a finally? Favorite? I know. Yeah. First of all, finally. <laughs> yes, finally. It's like like what a moment for for stand-up comics. Like yeah. truly, the hardest job in show business is stand-up comedy. I'm sorry. I'm not biased. Yeah. I know no, for a fact. A fact. Uh, yeah, for sure. <laughs> and, and look at all the great actors have that that and, and actresses that have come from from stand up. It's it's amazing. And and finally to be recognized by our industry is, yeah. is just a it's just a beautiful moment. And and I'm rooting for Chris Rock. I you want are. Chris okay. to win this one. Okay. All right. Uh, I read somewhere that you had talked to him about hosting. What advice did he yep. give you? He gave me the best advice. It was just it was so fun talking to him and. Uh, and the one thing that he said that I, I, I held in my heart was, don't worry about the costume changes. Watch the show. Mm. Uh, don't be in the bag changing your outfit. Uh -huh. Who cares about your outfit? Yeah. Watch the show. Be yeah. prepared. You never know what's going to happen. You're a comic, and you know how to react the best. So be in the moment. And, and he... I'm so happy he said that to me. Yeah, I love uh, a lot of your content with your stand-up is about uh, your family and and being Pinoy and you know representing for the culture. For example, Tina McCoo is off today, uh, but we do have the large spoon and fork <laughs> in the building. Yes, yes, because you got we're constantly to. representing for all cultures here. <laughs> Mandatory. That should be on a wall somewhere by a table. <laughs> Good stuff. <laughs> uh, hey, Joe, you mentioned you mentioned the writing process. You know, there's going to be a lot of big wigs, a lot of celebs in the mm. crowd. I don't want you to give away, but do you have a joke about a celebrity Ooh. that you're like curious how this is going to go over <laughs> in the room? <laughs> no, I can't. I can't give any of that away right now. I got to <laughs> save everything that I've written yeah. and uh, and for the live show. But yeah, it's you know, I don't want to. I don't want to like copy. Uh, the past. I want to just give my flavor to yeah. to this hosting position, and and yes, it's free range and it's live. So I gotta trust my gut. I gotta, I gotta really trust my gut on this night. Well, you know what? You got what three decades of stand-up comedy experience <laughs> under your belt. I think you got it, man. Indeed. Thank you. We're God, I love so you. So <laughs> excited for you. Okay, so this is all Sunday uh, on our sister station CBS 13, 5 p.m. Golden Globes, hosted by Joe Coy. So Let's go. Good Let's luck, man. We're going to be watching you. Say, say, kill it. Say, kill it. Kill it. Kill it. There you go. <laughs> Mahal kita, you guys. Mahal kita. Love right. you. Thanks, Thank man. Thank you.